huh? I'm thinking of enacting for myself. Or so I believed. But perhaps these thoughts are being controlled by blood inside me. Huh. Ha ha ha. Quite a delightful body if I say so myself. Well, I ruminate at this bit by bit. I feel as I'm a bit forgetting something. Oh, so how is I going to explain all this to Lin? Yeah, we all never going to understand. What the world were you doing? Doing these horrible things to Kai, even attacking Gordon Hines. Is the next head, head of the house a rabbi can't forgive harm brought to the those from my estate? I'm going to protect them. Are you listening? Huh? Where did I... When did I get here? Oh, wait, wait, what is it? You seem offended. I don't really get what's going on. Were you not listening to me? I knew it. I knew you were just a cruel vampire. What's this? Are you well aware I'm a vampire? Huh. Wait. Len Rember. I just remember. That was... Enough! I'll explain later, okay? Right now, we need to get Kai to bed. <coughs> Please stop it! D Diana, I... I... I won't tell anyone about this. I won't t let you tell anyone. So please stay away from Kai. G Understood. I'm sorry. Lord Arne, let's leave. R right. That was fucked up. Just hear me out for a moment, Lord Lin Ryan, babe. Away! Huh? What's that? <clears throat> Please just go away right now! Huh? What do you mean by that? This whole part's fucked up. Just what does it sound like? I don't want to see your face! I didn't think you were that kind of person who would do something so horrible! I was a fool to trust you! Now hold on, Lin Raibay. I... <sighs> well... If that's where your wish as a client, then very well. <sighs> uh, um, um. I, my apologies, Len Brownwave. Huh? I, I don't understand anymore. I don't understand, Lord Arnie. I don't understand anyone in this mansion. If Lord Arne is the one who attacked Gordon and Hines, then I have to made I made a prog I haven't made any progress at all. I've learned that everyone w was glad that father has been killed. I've learned that their ugly feelings that I had no idea before. Everything is just a mess. I'm the only one who's saddle about this. But even so, I have to stay strong. Because I'm the only one to be the family head. As the head of the Ryan family, I have to protect everyone. That's why I worked so hard to be a good mistress. But now, I don't know what to, I should do. Man, imagine dealing with this bullshit in one day. At this rate, maybe this search for father's killer is, the, is best abandoned. In fact, that might be the best for everyone. Ugh. Hey, Lenny. Sis, I... Yoo-hoo. Ah. Looks like you had a fight, huh? Sis, I... Did you know? That's Lord Arnie was the kind... Of... Arnie was that kind of person. What kind of person? Arnie's not a person, remember? Well, I suppose, yes. He's a vampire. I don't know anymore. What... What's right? What? What's right? What to believe? Is it really all that tough? You just gotta not trust, huh? How old is she? I don't know. Probably like fifteen. From the perspective of entities like us, it's your mindset that doesn't make sense. It's used or be used, right? No need for trust. Though it sure is entertaining watching humans worry for that stuff. But 
looks to me like you and Lord Arnie trust each other. What? Nah, nothing of the sort. I'm the only with Arnie because I get to see amusing stuff. Because I... Because I mean, isn't an ex-heinous vampire really funny? Huh? Vampires usually look down on all but their own kind, so Arnie is quite the weirdo for letting me use him. Fifteen. He's slightly older than that, but she must one for a teenager to deal with, I know. But when all said and but all said and done, doesn't that mean you're together because you trust each other? Uh well, I guess maybe. It'd be like that in your terms, Linny. If that makes sense to you, then that's fine. But I don't think it works so well with us. Because the two of you are using me? Yep, we're using you so we can enjoy this case. Even still, I feel like we're better than the people in this mansion. That is true. What are you getting at? Because at least we're using you as a human, Lenny. <sighs> What's up? You must have had at least a faint idea. That's where you're, you're, they're dress up. That's where you, you, that you were a dress up doll. That's not, that can't be true. I chose this myself. I tried to become fine noble lady and become the head of the Renway family. Did you really make those choices yourself? Huh? I mean, I mean, what else would I do? I'm the only daughter in my family, and I'm the Harris. I, without the title, what would I even be? What would be left? Oh, Lenny. My taste makes it hard just to tell you throw those no noble lady clothes, but... I think that tracksuit looks good on you, too. Huh? It makes you look like a lesbian. <laughs> More like pressure into being one. At the very least, it's hard to see you as a noble, and you sure don't strike me as a Harris, neither. What's the deal with the, the tracksuit, anyway? One day, I snuck out of the house and bought this for myself. As much as I said I wanted one, they wouldn't buy it, so I had to go myself. I was yelled at for leaving the house without permission, and rejected for not dressing as a noble should. I see, and... Now that I think about it, this tracksuit is the one time... The one time since Mother passed that I stuck in my own will, regardless of others said. Huh... Was that really the only time? Well, no, but it's fine, right? Can I keep looking for father's killer? Could it be you're asking me? I guess I am. That's right. If I lose the steam to give up now, nothing's going to change. I decided to solve this case that, w that was my decision. Not as a dress-up doll, out of my own vi violation, my own volition as a human. <laughs> That's the ticket. Well, how about this? Maybe you should go and solve the case without having to ask Arnie's help. Me? I mean, you drove Arnie away. You've got to handle it on yourself now, right? It'll be fine. You sold through the lies and all the alibis all by yourself earlier. Yes, that's right. I can do this myself even without Lord Arne. To that end, I won't mind use you. I won't mind using me. Give me some more entertainment. Huh? I still don't quite get the concept of using you to see it, but you'll lend your aid. Of course, I'm an ally to all smiling girls. I can't believe. <laughs> well, at any rate, Lenny, I got some info for you. It's sh the short maid, I don't think she went back on her room till the incident happened. Elise? How about get? How about you restart the investigation there? The possibility is that someone in this mansion killed your dad hasn't gone away, has it? Right. 
I understand. I'll give it a try. Ah, uh, if you go, if you'll go along with that, I say that easily. You're still a puppet after all, you know. <laughs> wow. She left. Uh, good work. While waiting for her, my memories have been starting to clear up. So, I was taken over by neck next to her. Man, how lame. It's never happened to me before, so what do you expect? However, well, that means you're violation. Why you were violent? Well, that means we're violent. I did not obtain information. Minari doesn't seem pleased about it. However, she's so she's too naive. She still doesn't understand how it means to search for a killer or the dangers. Can you expect any better? She's still just a kid. Though, hey. This could be a learning experience. Now, seeing this, she doesn't want to see my face. I'll rest for a bit. I must admit, I am exhausted. Gotcha. Figure as much. Leave Lin to me. Looks like a fruit. Yeah. As long as, as they're a mirror around, of course. Yes, that'll do. That'll do. Man, so sloppy. That part is why Lin's angry, you know. Give me a piece. Whoops, already asleep. <laughs> Info acro acrophobia added to the notes. Alright. Like since I said, the possibility of someone from the mansion could be the killer hasn't changed. First, I need to take, take with Elise. Talk with Elise, and then I'll remind myself what everyone said in their alibis beforehand. Let's see, what did they say about Elise? Alright. We're almost done. Elise goes to the father's room to bring bring him water at midnight at every night. Apparently, he needs that water to take the, his sleeping pills. But last night, Elise was told it wasn't necessary. However, Elise forgot he went to, the, went to the kitchen to get a glass of water like usual. Upon reaching the door's father's room, she remembered a hasty turn back. So her testimony, like a while, did meet father. Did she go to the third floor by herself? Considering the timeline makes it least likely to cause the shattering face, I heard. Huh, still, I don't know if the testimony is still enough to... Huh? Elise did usually watch Father take his pills after giving him water, but... What about after that, especially when you consider she didn't give him the water this time? Isn't that a little strange? Alright. Let's see, ponder. Burn apparently saw Elise enter the kitchen and get some water and leave. But Elise didn't get to the give bottle of the water, did she? Let's see. Once. What about the in my room alone? I'm not sure. Let's see, she's right. She went back to the kitchen and returned the glass, but still, she had water in it. Normally, she would do the right away. What happened, I wonder. Maybe I should go ask her about that, too. We'd never know what might be a clue. Okay, let's talk with Elise. She's still in the dining room, I bet. Alright, let's see. I'm going to see Elise, so there's no reason to go this way. Oh, 
Oh, Mrs. Lentz, how's Deanna? It seems she still needs to calm, time to calm down. Is that so? Burn and Hyde still need to still be arguing as well. Uh. Oh, where's Elise? Oh, I told her to go back to her room to check on you, too. Did you not pass her by? Uh, that's right. I was out on the terrace and I had a feeling of the night breeze. Well, I'll go check on Lise then. I see. Please do, Mistress Lynn. Let me see. How could she know she was alone? Oh, yeah, because they admit it. They heard the testimony. Oh, there's Elise. I'm hungry. Give me food, Lamio. Ah! If it isn't Mistress Lynn. You're so jumpy. You scared me with that. Gordon told me to call for thou, so I was fretting when neither of you were here. Where did you go? I did dope before. I'd... I'm sorry. I, I'm. It seemed that Diana wanted to be alone for a little longer. By the way, Elise, is there something about that closet... Yeah, er, uh, just as I not know, I adore this closet. I come out as a lesbian. I love the way it looks. Verily, I simply stare at it. That 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 doth nothing at all inside the closet. I am not suspicious of leave least wise. That's way too suspicious. Please let me see inside. You can't. There is er uh, some. Underwear that is much risque for the mistress. I sure they're all teddy bear patterned. But it seems Elise exactly doesn't want me to see what's inside. Yeah, something's up. What would Elise want to hide? Could it have something to do with what I heard from the father's room? Might be the time to tell a time to, to tell a little fib. Bluffing. It's the base. Actually, Elise, I saw it. I caught you in the act and I saw you break the vase. What? I heard a crashing sound when I went to look. There you were. Ah! Nah, I tell you, that isn't true. I was I was just knocked over, is all. It's the slightest be right there. It's the second floor, right, right? No, it isn't. That was one of the formerly of the storeroom. Because the vase was missing from the storeroom. Oh, uh, well, surely the Barnes has taken it then. Diana said it herself, Burn is a thief, forsooth. At least, do you also think Burn is stealing things? <laughs> now we're in Dapuranga version 3, there's times where they have to let it proceed. I'm sure it must be so. So it must have been given up back for gave me, saith that the word I, and I will. I have had no idea he was doing such vile things. Really? Even if Burn is being a thief is true, but it's not good to blame everyone on him, is it? Why won't you believe me? Lee's reaction makes it clear she's hiding the vase. But she isn't just gonna tell me the truth at this rate. What else can I do? Maybe. Hyde told me there was something Elise had in return to the kitchen. Must be something that to do with this. Well then, Elise, what about the you-know-what? Er, uh, should I know it? Oh, it's not version 3, it's simply called V3. Oh. Uh, should it known that? You should. It's nowhere to be found either. And it doesn't appear to be somewhere in the open in this room either. So where did it go? The glass. <laughs> Fa uh, father's glass. You always return it to the kitchen. But Heinz told me you hadn't yet. It wasn't in father's room, and it was not in the room either. So where is it? Did you break it alongside the base? Ah! Also, you could have gone into more detail about the risque underwear later. Please, at least sir. S spareth of me. It is too soon for an engagement these things. 
Elise, seriously, what kind of underwear is it? Two hours. Risky underwear added to the notes. That was funny. So you try to pour the water, but from the glass to the vase, and broke both. It was up very late at night before searching for you, Mistress Lin. And so even Act was going to the kitchen made me very sleepy. Yeah, it has been two hours. I'm sorry about that too. So then, after breaking the vase, you were hastily cleaning the halfway, looking for the replacement. And that's and that's when I heard Hardeth the Burnt's voice. I just finished destroying the evidence. And I'm standing by the second floor vase with relief. I see. Why do you have to do all that to hide it? After feared of... Huh? I was afeard of Gorin yelling at me! Really? Huh? You do not even know, Mistress Lin. The truth the rage of Gordon can unleash. He yells at me at every ten times a day, and yesterday he, I was set a breaketh of my record. And again, Elise, he's certain to scare it half to death to me. Don't you realize, Mistress Lin? Since you're around a hundred things, I broke my sense hath become numb. I can't think of it only natural. I can't break things. Why don't he yell at me? Why don't I only understand something natural? Oh, Mr. Lin, please keep this from Gordon. Please keep it a si- Yeah, Tenshin just left the room. Sure. Sure, Gordon? Uh, sure, Gordon. H how do they do? Sure enough, that broken face was your doing? How would you tell me about it? Nice and slowly. I'm sorry! Please forgive me! Elise, we'll go to my room. Forsooth. Mistress Lin, I'm terribly sorry about our decision, but our discussions about the future, we must wait until everyone calms down. Yes. Hang in there a second. H hang in there, Elise. Sure enough, the broken vase, the glass are here, but there's nothing else to note. Still working on these more important, surely. I was able to expose Anna Lee's lies but all by my own. Yeah, this is fine. I can manage even by myself. Uh, it seems I'll take time to se settle everything down. Should go back to my room and sort this on my own. Wait, how many do I have? Let me see. Oh, I'm missing the fifth one. Where's the fifth? All right. All right, I think that should do it for today's stream. But anyway, guys, I think that should do it. I hope you guys have a good day. Until then, I'm Vipress, and I'm out. Damn, that was like two hours. I think I'll cancel the other stream. I think I'm gonna go to sleep. Man, that was like tough. Laters. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh my god. That was long. Ugh. Laters. I'm Vipress and I'm out. <sighs> yeah.